Yeah. Lions coming out of their bye week, three and one. Once again, joined by Mike Payton from A to Z Sports. Mike, with uh, the Tigers' playoff run, the Red Wings opening their season. I feel like the Lions going on their bye week. They took a little bit of a uh, a back step, maybe this week in the Detroit sporting world. But they're back, ready to go. Lions facing the uh, the Cowboys this week brings up some harsh memories from uh from a year ago but let's start with coming out of the bye week how does this team look uh mike health wise well healthy i mean they look they look great frank ragnow is back at practice uh brian branch is back at practice christian mahogany has come off the nfi list or at least his his clock has been started to come off the nfi uh so far everybody looks great uh they're completely healthy they had put out a uh, estimated practice report yesterday and there there were all full practice guys on it so we'll see what happens uh today when they get back on the field and start practicing again but so right now it looks really good going into dallas we have to talk about the elephant in the room i think the players might have spoken about it a little bit this week i mean it's pretty much the same team going back considering what happened last year do you think they're motivated at all to to get a win after they really should have had one in dallas last year yeah you know it's interesting it's you, you know you always hear fans talk about you know the officials blew the game and all this and most of the time it's just coping uh but this is like the one time that universally the whole world agrees that the officials totally messed this up even even skip bayless who's a noted cowboys fan even said that the officials messed this up so unfortunately you can't get revenge on the officials but you can get a revenge on the team that you know uh got the officials help to win this game so i think yes i think this is, is one that definitely means a lot to the lions they won't outwardly say it you know they're they're being very guarded about their emotions towards this game but you still kind of get the feeling you you know it's, it's in the air it, this is one they really want to go win and and prove that they're better than this team like like they they did last year my favorite thing that came out of that last year is now every time at Ford Field the ref announces that uh, that Skipper is eligible, the, the roof almost blows off, which is phenomenal. And I don't think that will end anytime soon. But this is a this is a Cowboys team that isn't playing up to at least it's their regular season standards. Obviously, Dallas hasn't gotten the job done in the playoffs, but they've been a very successful regular season team for really the, the latter part of the last decade. But they have haven't been there so far this season what have you seen so far out of out of this Dallas team and how does Detroit match up with them well they're dealing with a lot of issues and big issues like injury wise uh Demarcus Lawrence is going to be out for some time he's already on injured reserve uh Micah Parsons they're all pro pass rusher maybe one of the best in the game uh, some would say even the best in the game he's probably not going to play this game that, that he did not practice yesterday and there's a chance that you know, he he might not practice today either. So there's a good chance he's not in this game. Deron Bland, they're all pro cornerback. He just came off the uh, the injured reserve list. They're starting his clock. We'll see if whether or not he plays. Usually when teams bring a, a guy off the clock, they're, they're not really putting him right into the game. At least that's the way the Lions like to do it. So there's a good chance that he's not playing as well. And then on the offense, Brandon Cooks, who's their deep threat, that he's not going to be in this game either. He's on injured reserve as well. So they are having a lot of trouble on defense and offense, but defensively more, uh, especially against the run. They're 31st in run de run defense DVOA right now. That's really bad. That's That means that David Montgomery and Jameer Gibbs should be loaded up and ready to go for this game and should have a uh, field day in this one. Was gonna, that was going to be my next question. Dallas can't run the ball, and they can't stop the run. So do you think, you know, for, for Ben Johnson, does he go into this one, you know, more run heavy than we've seen so far in the first four games? Yeah, I would say so. And, and not just because, you know, they can run the ball on this team, but while this team is missing Brandon Cooks, we've seen what they can do with Dak Prescott and C.D. Lamb. This is a team they can run it up for on you in the past game, and that's where the Lions' defense – kind of struggles the most at this point, mostly just because they're getting attacked on, on the pass game way more than anybody else is other than the Minnesota Vikings. But I think, you know, they're going to want to pass a lot. They're going to want to keep that ball out of the, you know, out of their running backs hands. And you want to make sure that you can keep that offense off the field as long as you can. So they're going to use that time of possession game as well in, in, in the run game and just kind of soak that clock down and, and, and work it down. And, and I think that is going to be, 
the way that they win. Plus, when you're running all day, you should be able to set up some passes, and uh, that's going to be real good for a guy who just came off an 18-for-18 18 18 game. For and for the defense, this is a, a Dallas team that is going to try and beat you through the air because they haven't been very successful at all on the ground so far this season. Do you think the Lions secondary can be up for up to the task with C.D. Lamb and and Dak? Like you said, that you know if they do get into a groove, that is a a, a pretty lethal pass game. Yeah, I would I would definitely look for Carlton Davis to be on uh, C.D. Lamb all game. I think that this is going to be one of those bend but not break type things where you're, they're going to get some big plays in because that's just what the Cowboys do, and that's what C.D. Lamb is able to do. He's one of the best receivers in the game. So you you can you can hope to contain him, but it's really hard to stop him. So I think that there will definitely be some big plays. And in terms of keeping them out of the end zone, I think that's where you're going to see the Lions defense really come up. Uh, offensively, their offensive line – uh, kind of struggling with both tackles. So Aiden Hutchinson should be able to get home in this game. And uh, that, that'll help a lot in the past game. But they're going to have to be on their P's and Q's in order to stop C.D. Lamb. Feels like going into going into the Lions fifth game of the year, every game so far this year, they've played a team that they could potentially see down the road in the playoffs. You know, the the Rams, well, at least before the year, you know, the the Seahawks, the Cardinals, the Cowboys, you know, with with a win on, on Sunday night, you know, do you think or Sunday afternoon, do you think the Lions just continue to to cement themselves as the the favorites in in the NFC here you know assuming that they do go out and win Sunday night they have kind of beaten up on these teams that they could be seeing in in January yeah I I think that this is this is a really big prove it run for them they've got three of the next four on the road in Lambeau in Jerry World uh, and then in Minnesota so those are three really hard places to go play and win if they can come out of this and three and one at the worst. I think they definitely cement themselves as the team that everyone's looking at in the NFC. But uh, yeah, this is a big one for them to win. And then of course, next week against the undefeated Vikings, who are also going to be coming off a bye. That's going to be huge. So definitely want to win these next two to really cement yourself as the NFC's top dog. Should be a good one Sunday afternoon. The uh, the national game of the, game of the week on Fox. How do you see the Lions coming out of this one, and uh, and and do they leave Jerry World four and one? Yeah, I think they definitely do. I think this is a game that you know we talked about it already. The run game, I you know that's a really bad run defense over in Dallas, and I think they can definitely definitely get get on top of that with with Montgomery and Gibbs and work that time of possession down and just kind of drag this game along it might not be the funnest game it could wind up being just the lions going out there and drudging them which i guess could be fun for the lions at least but uh, maybe not for people watching around the nation but yeah i think this is a game that the lions should definitely win i'm gonna go uh if you're if we're doing it with that the final score always always <laughs> we're doing that yeah that I'm, I'm gonna go uh i'm gonna go 35 to 17 i think the lions are gonna be able to handle this one no, I know Lions fans would enjoy that after last year. A little bit of sweet revenge. Detroit headed to Dallas for a clock kick over on Sunday. Mike Payton, A to Z Sports. You can catch all of his his content on that website. And uh, and we'll catch up with you, Mike, next week before, uh, before another tough test for this team. Sounds good. Thank you.